First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm very excited and, and to be here. How, how long ago did this whole thing start for you? So we started uh, November 2007. You know, we're basically, where we started off in my parents' living room um, over Christmas break. Um, we tried to think of an idea that would really sort of be innovative and really resonate with users. So uh, and we're really lucky that Eco Rio has turned out to be that. So, we open up Eco Rio. You sort of see your personal uh, profile. You see, you know, how much how much a carbon footprint is, how many pounds extrapolated to the year that would be. You can track uh, the trips that you've taken recently using, you know, GPS by location, combination of those technologies. And you can see, you know, from day to day uh, the trips that you've taken. You can see the impact on the environment. So, for example, you know, this is a trip from San Francisco to Stanford University. And you produced about 33 pounds of uh, CO2. So now you can take actions. Um, you know, regular people, it's hard to think of actions that I can take um, to you know, reduce your carbon footprint, you know, uh, fight global warming, right, things like that. You know, lots of people want to do something, and they want to do something easy as well, right? Like, they don't want to be inconvenient for them. Sorry about that. Um, so, for example, we've got, you know, the carpool option down here, is the option that you can take, uh, for example, uh, your trip, feed it into a database of ride sharing options. So, click on carpool. And now, you know, it uses the mobile internet to load up carpools that other people are taking and offering on the internet. So, you know, Southern California, yeah, uh, in the Bay Area, there's tons of people, you know, just ride sharing, to reduce their costs. Now, what database does this tap into? Is this your own, or is this a other third parties? Right, exactly. So, you know, um, one of the great things about mobile internet is you can connect to whoever you want, and we partnered with one of the biggest ride sharing sites. Uh, they're actually based in uh, California as well. They're called ZipRide.com, and so this really helps us. You know, I mean, Carpool is one of the things that really depends on a, a huge base of users to get started. Right. And they've got you know 300,000 plus users already. So once you once that you go on for the first time, there's like one person who needs a ride, you have immediately there'll be a huge database. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, that's one of the most difficult things about, you know, social type applications. How do you even get started? Right. We've overcome that barrier by, you know, I guess using very loose connections to connect to third party. Awesome. Why choose the Android phone over any other phone? Or for us to Yeah, so. I mean, that's in the other big guy, you know. Yeah, for sure. And, like, <laughs> One of the great things is, you know, it really, it was really easy to get started, right? Like, we didn't have to sign up for, you know, a license or anything like that. Um, we could just sort of implement our ideas, and, you know, it was really open. The contest came with, you know, no strings attached, you know, um, no, you know, all the IPs are, no revenue sharing or anything like that. Um, Yeah, it's great to be on Android. <laughs>